Uh, you said, I didn't say it was always safe to carry the term. It ought to be generally considered a triage, triage situation where both mother and baby are monitored carefully and deliver baby as safe as possible when mom is unable to carry further. So with that being said, are you only against abortion in cases of rape, incest, or do you think women should have the right to abort uh, abortion for any reason. No, I don't think women should have a right to just abort for any reason. I do think they should have a right if they're raped or incest, incest has been committed. Because if you go back to the very beginning, the very first person created, it was Adam. And Adam wasn't conceived. Adam was created out of the dust of the earth. That was man. Adam never was a baby. Adam was, the breath of life was blown into created out of the dust of the earth, life blown into his nostrils, and that was what was considered man. Um, because the spirit was always more important to God. So even though everybody says that the life begins at conception and all of this, it, it's about the spirit, and you have to have a mind. There's no mind in that baby yet. I mean... All of the animals have heartbeats too, but God said man had dominion over that. So it wasn't just, obviously wasn't just about the heartbeat that God considered as man. It was about the mind and the heart. So I think from the very beginning, man was considered a full man because the mind can operate and know God and the heart. Because you're really, you know, God has to save you. God has to save you. There has to be, you have to die. Not physically die, but you have to you die to be cleansed of your sins so that you can be renewed, correct? And I don't mean a literal death, but a death of the old person. So none of the cells can do that. So I don't, I don't believe that God sees that as a, as a man or woman because not at that early stages. I mean, that that's I, I, the reason that I support Donald Trump with this one is because um, I think there should be exceptions for rape and incest. I, I, I think God wanted us to not be cruel. And so if a, a child is raped by her father and she gets pregnant and this world does, you know, this country does some say, which Trump wouldn't do it, but say there was some statewide ban and then she can't even get an abortion and yet it wasn't, she didn't do anything wrong. Um, and, and yet that's why I call the far right Christians out because it's, it's showing no, it's showing no sympathy, um, for the fact that this person was violated and raped and incest was committed. And then on top of it, if they're very young, Okay, it may not be in their best interest to deliver. So when I hear the Ali Beth Stuckies or the far right say never, no, no exceptions because the circumstances don't matter, that's cruel. Because it's like saying we don't, we don't care. You got pregnant. We don't care that your father molested you. We don't care that you were raped over and over again because you were trafficked. I mean. The, the main thing Trump was trying to eradicate was trafficking. I'm a nurse that took care of trafficked victims when he was in office. I never, they were coming in regularly. I'm a psych nurse. I'd never seen that before. I had no idea that there was a, a pandemic of trafficking. So th there's many of those women that get pregnant. I, 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 because they're raped over and over again, their body's treated like a piece of meat. And I don't think God would be so cruel as to say, we're going to force you to carry to term when God clearly at the beginning, he didn't make Adam into a baby. Adam was a full man when he created him. So I, yeah, I, I, I think that there should be exceptions. Yet that side, the far, far right, that's the reason why it ends up going all the way to the left. I don't know if you guys realize that. But because you know, won't even come to the middle with things like rape and incest, that's how the far left then gets so radicalized. Then they, they, they just 
They, so Donald Trump said there was a window here, being that it went back to the states, meaning now you can have you people, everybody can have the debate again and try to come to the middle because there are two sides here. So the left gets pissed off because there are, and I'm not talking about the far left, but there's the people on the left that say you're not being caring because you don't consider rape and incest. But then there's the far right that says, no, you, you, you guys just want to use it as a form of birth control. I don't agree with that at all. I don't agree with using it as a form of birth control. If you accidentally get pregnant because you're being irresponsible, I, yeah, I don't think any of that is, that, that's not justified. I mean, that, that in my mind, it's not. Um, but if you're raped, if you're molested, there should be exceptions. It's the fact that the far right doesn't want any exceptions that it pisses the other side off so much. So, yeah, I'm only saying that abortion should be considered when, say, it's a child that's been molested, gets pregnant, okay, so it's already been violated, been raped by a family member, and then maybe is too young and doesn't have the developed, say, pelvic floor to even deliver safely then there should be an exception there. But if you put a nationwide or a statewide abortion ban in, then that means you could lose both the the 13-year-old and the baby. So, yeah, I'm talking about medical exceptions here. I mean, I've worked in places where even, even late term, when the baby... Um, uh, he had a hole in its heart, okay? And these are these are delicate uh, delicate situations I don't have answers to. But I mean, I worked, this was many years ago, and we uh, at a full hospital, okay, that dealt with, um, uh, you know, life, uh, critical life issues when a mother is pregnant. It wasn't like a Planned Parenthood. It was a full hospital. They would fly mothers that were in danger in. But there were times that you know, and I'm I, I, I'm not taught. I don't agree with the late late term and or late term abortion because of how it's it's gotten out of control. But there are times when something happens with the baby, and they have a hole in their heart, and and it was a delicate situation um, at this hospital. It was a major hospital. It was a trauma one hospital outside of Chicago. Um, and they specialized in this. And so when the baby had like a hole in their heart and they weren't going to live more than, um, say, you know, a few hours, um, they gave the, they gave the mother the option. Um, so I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't take a stance on that because then, you know, I, it's more delicate, but, but I'm just talking about, you know, say that you're talking about a child that's been raped raped by a family member that's what i'm talking about there should be exceptions for that so when that side goes so far that you want to ban on all of it it i think it's uncaring so yeah i'm only talking about rape and incest most especially uh because if you look at the massive uh child abuse problem in the catholic church that none of these holy people uh glenn beck or any of them ever want to mention i mean the amount of stories when Trump came into office that came out with the Catholic Church and how many children have been abused, molested, it's unbelievable, yet those people want to argue about abortion, but you could care less about all these children that have been trafficked, all these young women that have been trafficked, and just have been used as a piece of meat. So I, I think that care should be considered, and that's where exceptions should be made, is in those cases.